Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I want to thank you for pressing play on today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing a, another super cute card using the Peekaboo Farm stamp set that is available right now in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And I'm pairing it with the hydrangea dies. I'm using this die here that die cuts out all of this strip of um, flowers, but they're all die cut separately, as well as the Forever Flourishes dies. I'm going to be, I'm using this one here. Also, these are also available in the annual catalog right now. So let me show you the adorable card that I am going to be creating with you. How sweet is this little horsey? So adorable. Okay, so let's get started. I've already die cut out my two uh, flourishes. This is uh, the um, little leaf things. This is a uh, soft sea foam and I have my Thick basic white cardstock base is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then we have some gray granite. This is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And some um, thick basic white because I am going to be coloring with my Stampin' Blends. Let's just move this so that we can see. Um, I'm coloring it with my Stampin' Blend, so I'm using my thick basic white, and it is three and three quarters by five inches. And then my tiny little flowers, they are fresh freesia. All right, so I've also, um, I've created a mask as I've used my blending brush and some um, balmy blue ink to give that little halo around my cute little horsey. My horse is stamped in the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So let's get going here. All right, it does not take too awful long to make this sweet card. So we are gonna come in with, I'm using my um, pierce mat and I've got a piece of um, just printer paper here. And as you can see, I want to stamp my horse up a little higher so that we've got room for those adorable little um, flowers all around. So I'm inking it up, just taking a check to make sure we've got nothing, no hairs or anything like that on there. Okay, and then about here. He might be a little lower or a little higher. I'm not sure. Let's just check this out. Yeah, I think he is just a smidge higher, but that is a-okay. And then let's, um, whoop, that was my water. I just hit it with a stamp. Okay, so we're gonna now take our hello there and we're gonna stamp it right down here in the right hand corner. Okay, we are done with our stamping. Give this a moment to dry because I don't want it to, um, I want that black ink to not be um, runny. So I am going to take, to curl my little flowers, they die cut out, all of these flowers came from that one strip die. So all you're gonna do is, your take your pick tool has a double-ended um, stylus. So I'm taking my um, thicker, my larger ball stylus. This is the um, die cut brush that you can order separately. And this is the foam mat that goes with it. So if you're trying to die cut to get out any of those little bits of cardstock out of your uh, intricate dies, you just take this and run it over it. But that's not what we're using it for. We are going to use this um, foam pad thing and I'm just going to press and give a circular motion. And that is going to curl those petals. You can also use your um, 
Stampin' Pierce mat. I've done that before as well, but um, this has got way more cushion. It's softer, so it's easier to press that down, and then you get that cute little cup shape. All right, so let's now... Um, we're going to come in and we're going to color. And our colors are fairly straightforward. We've got light, light and dark gray granite and the light petal pink for the ears, the um, little rosy cheeks, and little um, horsey's nose muzzle here. Is, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not a horse person. So I'm not overly sure as to, is that just their nose that has their mouth and nostrils on it? I don't know, but anyhow. All right, so we're coloring in, nothing fancy. Just giving a little bit of the um, blush there. And then we're gonna come in and with the dark, I'm just going to add some lines for some shadowing and under here because we don't want it to be all one solid color. So taking a little bit of the dark and adding that in is going to help with that. And a bit there and there. And we're leaving this little strip. We're going to leave that light um, white. So, alrighty. Coming in. Being careful not to go over the line. And I'm trying not to go over the black stamped area either, the eyes, so that I don't make that bleed at all if it's not quite dry and set. And even though the hooves are covered by that, my spray of leaves and flowers, I am just going to go in and color those anyways. Being careful to not go outside the lines, but if you do, that's okay. We've got a color lifter and you can easily fix those little boo-boos. It just gives it that little bit darker shadow there. And I'm just gonna come straight across here color this neck area in and then I'm going to go around that area there to help blend that dark area that I drew with the line. All right, I think you look good. You're sweet. So fun. All right, so now we're going to come in and we are going to add some dark in for the mane. I do know that. I was obsessed with horses when I was a little girl, but that was a very long time ago, and I have forgotten everything I've ever known about horses, basically. Isn't that the way, if you don't, if you're not part of that culture, then it just doesn't stick with you. All right, I'm just, in this area here, I'm just going with straight on dark gray granite for that part of the mane. But I've left some white areas there because I'm going to come in with the light because I don't want the top mane to be all totally dark. I'm 
Now this card I was inspired by a European paper crafter, Madeline um, Rotex Tex Zek. I'm not sure how to Mozik Mrotsik. I, I do apologize to my uh, European paper crafters if I have said that name wrong. She, I'd seen a card she had done with a non-Stampin' Up um, image and thought it was just way too sweet that I had to take my own Stampin' Up products and see how I could tweak it and make it my own using my beloved Stampin' Up. All right. So I'm just coming in here and adding just a little bit more of that dark, just so that we've got um, a little bit more depth in that to it. And then right there, I've got that little spot that I'm just going to go over, over, and over. And we are good. Okay, so I have also taken a um, post-it note and I have stamped my horse uh, to make a mask. And when you're doing this, you want to cut right in on that line so that you don't get that halo. Um, effect and we're going to just place that right over top of our stamped and colored image just like that. I'm going to bring in my uh, balmy blue and my blending brush and I'm going to off the cardstock first just to get it loaded up so I've got a nice um, amount on here and I am just going to start I've started on that post-it note so that I can avoid any harsh blotches or spots and we're just gonna gently go around our horsey giving it that nice light blue halo that is really going to make it whoop, pop off the cardstock. All right, I think, I think we look good. More intense right around the horse. Peel that off and look at that. Oh, so cute. All right. So now, get that out of the way, that out of the way. Let's, whoops, I just dumped all my flowers. Put them back on there. Collect them all. All right. So we are done with this. So let's move this out of the way. And before I go and um, attach all my flowers, I'm going to first attach my um, um, gray granite to my thick basic white here. Okay. Now we're going to take our card base. The Thick Basic White is my cardstock of choice for my card bases. Let's bring this in. Oh, nope. I'm putting dimensionals. I've got that popped up on dimensionals there. So let's not do that. 
let's take and start to build. All right, so if I take my one leaf branch, this and this, so that they're kind of like that. So we're going to just take a little bit of the liquid glue and add little dots so that all of those leaves are um, going to be adhered down nicely. Okay, give that a press. And then let's do the other one. Come on. You don't want to apply too much because you don't want it gushing out and causing a big mess on your card front. So then we're just going to lay that so that it kind of covers that and we're sort of kind of like my terminology <laughs> we're sort of kind of around the same whoop I've got glue on my finger um, around the same area distance similar for that um, towards the edge there all right, so now let's take and lay our flowers out. I'm a very visual person, so I like to lay my flowers out first before. And I'm trying to lay them out in like a triangle pattern. So although with a bouquet of flowers, it is kind of hard to do a triangle pattern, but we are going to do our best so that it's kind of filled in and um, balanced. All right, so here and whoops, come on. It, oh, for goodness sake. I need to wash that glue off my hands. And then one down here. So I've got my triangle here, my triangle there, and my triangle there. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm gonna give it a little squeeze, put a flower there, and then I'm gonna take I'm going to flip my stylus around so I have my smaller um, end and I'm going to give that a press so that we um, are nicely adhered. Okay, and we're just going to follow that along for all of the flowers. This um, card here totally gives this stamp set a completely different feel, I think. Not as um, a bit prettier, not as cute and uh, whimsical, so to speak, at least in my opinion. Please, if um, you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment, giving me a thumbs up. If you like my paper crafting, if you like this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Just go ahead and click that subscription button below as well as that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos from me. Okay. Now we're getting
getting a little tight in here. But you can see that even though I colored those hooves, you're not seeing them. You are not seeing them. They are covered. And depending on whereabouts you, um, how high you put your greenery as to how much room you've got. This guy here is a little higher than this, my original, but that's okay. I'm cool, I'm cool with that. All right, so now I'm going to come in and give a dot of glue to every single center so that okay my pokey doodle end I'm gonna bring in my little pearls here and I'm going to fill the center of each whoops come on each one of these flowers with a cute little pearl. Yes, I'm using an awful lot of them. That is okay with me. Some cards just call for more, don't they? I think so. Now, all of these items are available in my online store. If you live in Canada and do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you love Stampin' Up! products and would like to get a discount and be part of an inspiring, creative, and supportive community, I would love for you to join my Stampin' Up! family. It's always the best deal in the catalog. Um, to get the starter kit and if you would like any more information please just reach out oh, so cute so cute so all I've done here is I have taken my um, dimensionals that I have taken and used all the inside ones so I'm just I'm going to put lots on the back here so that I don't get any saggy but you can see I've just cut um, into them and so that they're a decent size piece to uh, put on my back of my card here so that I get no saggy middles Um, the holiday catalog will be coming out very soon. It starts for customers on August 3rd. If you have shopped with me in the last six months, you are automatically um, on my list to get a catalog and celebration brochure from me in the mail or porch pickup if you are local. If you haven't shopped with me in the last six months and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you work with and would like a catalog, please message me um, right here and let me know that you would like a catalog. I would be happy to pop one in the mail to you if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with. All right, so there we have it oh my goodness so sweet adorable just adorable so that is all for me today thank you so much for taking a few moments out of your time to join me and uh, if you have any questions please reach out um, if you're shopping my online store and your order is under two hundred dollars please use this month's host code um, and uh, thank you again, and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.